Hamilton High School preparing students for a possible career in semiconductors before they even graduate. The school has a new semiconductors class that aims to teach kids about the entire industry in a time when it's booming here in Arizona. 12 News journalist William Pitts takes us to school. If chips like these are Mount Everest, then what's going on behind the doors in Hamilton High is how you get to Mount Everest. You start climbing. Yes, so we have a plan, right? Jeremy LaPaglia is building a circuit. Now this is our resistor. Yeah. That's the battery. Or at least he and his lab partner, Grady Hewan, are planning on building a circuit. 450 divided by four, which is like a hundred something. They're part of the first semiconductor class at Hamilton High in Chandler. I didn't even know it was the first time. Uh, I just saw the class and I thought it'd be cool, so I joined it. Getting kids started in what may be Arizona's next big industry. I have the button, three LEDs, the, the red and black wires. But first, they have to get it to work. Yeah, we try to expose them as much as we can to uh, to real life uh, situations, right? How this would work in real life. Omar Munoz has 30 years at Intel before he became the teacher of the semiconductor class. He's treating it as a job. Really, the idea is for us to, to really build that interest, and, and we will, I think. Uh, most of the kids that, that, I've, that we have in the program so far uh, are showing a lot of interest. Which is good because a lot of the families here have some connection to the tech industry. My daddy and my sister are both in the electrical engineering field and I think it would be really cool and interesting. So I kind of want to try it out too. Like Irene Liu, she's already got a plan. She wants to be a chip designer. I took the U of A chips and wafer camp over the summer and I found it to be really interesting and I thought, oh, maybe I should like try the class out. The classroom is being outfitted with more and more gear. It can detect if something is like metallic. If it senses that it's metal, it will push off to the side. Next year, there will be even more. All of it provided by colleges, companies, all of whom want to train the next generation of engineers. It's a very long journey, but it's a, it's a small step and I don't think this has been done at this level uh, before. I got the alligator clips because I thought they were going to be this on both sides. Like Jeremy and Grady, who both want to be engineers, just as soon as this thing works. All right, come on, let's go get our stuff. And then if it works, it works. In Chandler, William Pitts, 12 News.